God says, get in position, it is time. Many of you have been overlooked. You have been underrated, last picked, the laughing stock. Many of you have been judged by the basis of your mistakes that you have had the courage to admit, not only to other people about, but to admit to yourself about. But God says, you keep taking that, that inch and I'm going to keep taking this mile with you. You take that, that, you, that step and I'm going to take this leap with you. God says, you, you just run, you, you jog a little bit and I'm going to run like a track star right alongside of you. Get in position. It is time. I'm telling you all, like, I literally have chills. Like, I am fired up. Like, I am so fired up right now because God is speaking through me. All praise to our most high heavenly father. Ashe, all praise to our most high heavenly father, the creator of all things, the divine source of all. But again, God is saying, get in position and prepare. Don't sit back on idle time. Don't sit back fiddling your, your toenails and your fingernails, just sitting back waiting. No, we have to take action. You know, we, we got to go, we got to go and meet God halfway for the blessing. He going to meet us halfway. But we have to get in position and we have to prepare. You are coming into this season of just total, total abundance. You lost a car. Guess what? You're about to get two, three of them back. Watch what I tell you. You lost your home. Guess what? Now you finna start laying the foundation brick up for a house that that's going to be on your land that that you own. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm you lost some money? Oh. You're going to get that back triple fold. Th there's so much more to than where that came from. Oh, you lost a relationship? Oh, okay. That person that mishandled you and mistreated you and didn't know how to love you or didn't want to take the time to get to know you and didn't want to accept you for who you were. Oh, guess what? They're going to have to watch you being loved and treated like the queen or king that the most high God has destined for you to be. All of the gifts that have been bestowed upon you. Guess what? God is saying, use them and use them wisely because there are many of them. Mm. God is saying, yeah, I took you, I, I took you through poverty. That was your training grounds because I needed to humble you. I needed to humble you before I provided you with all the greatness, all of the royalties and all of the glory. God wants to make sure that, that he gets the glory for all of our successes. Okay. God is saying, get in position because it is time. There is no going back to what once was. There is no going back to who you once was. There ain't, there ain't going to be no going back to bad habits. Going back to people, places, and things that don't mean us no good. God is saying enough. I didn't put you through all that. I didn't take you through all that. I didn't deliver you from all that just to see you turn back around. Say, screw the work that you have been doing. And go back, right back to where I got you from. God said it was expensive for me to buy you back from the devil. That cost. That was expensive. God was knuckling up head to toe, head up with the devil. Do you hear me though? In the spirit, on the in the astro, God was fighting hard for our souls back. And God is saying to prepare. Because I'm telling you, I know many of you have took great losses this year great losses but God is saying baby I have restored you I have renewed you all of that has already been put back in place but even grander and even better this time around don't sit on idle time 
God ain't on that type of time. He ain't playing with us no more. It's either you get right or you get left. Get in position. Stay mindful. Set those intentions. Journal. Make a vision board. At all of your dreams, your goals, your aspirations, write them down and make them plain. Do I have the book? Hold on, you guys. I want to show you guys this book. Oh, crap. I don't see it. Darn it. But it's this, chair, it's this book called Two Chairs that I got while I was in jail. Pull up a chair, two chairs, one for God and one for you. And you just have that two chairs moment with just you and God as you, as you all are going through these numerous visions that he is placing on your heart. As you all are going through these numerous gifts that you have, these numerous abilities that are, that are within you, everything and more. God is saying you need to get in position. I don't, under, I, don't, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm really fired up because God is saying, this is, this is reaping season. Mm, thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is reaping season. Get in position. Get in position. Get in position. I don't care. Y'all keep that tunnel vision. I don't care what the devil, on, on what way, whatever the way the devil try to come at you, whatever way the enemy try to come at you, you tell him to take it up with God. Tell him to take it up with God. Because ain't no weapon forms against you that can prosper. If ever, <laughs> not never. Tell, tell any hater that got a problem with you. Any unknown enemy that got a problem with you. Tell them to take it up with God if it's that serious. Hello. Get in position. It's just about to get glorious and even more magical. And I don't know if you all can see it yet, but I can. And I can feel it most importantly. So never mind the losses that you had to take. Never mind the people that have walked out of your life without reason or without just communicating whatever it was with you. But that's neither here nor there because God is preparing a table for you right now and in this moment. If you trust and believe in these words that I speak, please hit that like button. Please drop a comment and say, we shall proceed. Hashtag, we shall proceed. Okay? Now, um, I will be back with some more messages. I, I'm a, just a powerhouse of energy, <laughs> of light, resilience, perseverance. And I just want to share all of these gifts that God has bestowed upon me, all of these prophetic words, these dreams, these visions. And I just want to uplift you all and motivate you all and get you guys prepared and ready. Put on your best garb. Put on your best. Put on your Sunday's best, baby. And let's head to our royal priesthood. Let's, let's head to our promised land. Because it's closer than you think. Rest, prepare, and get in position. While moving in silence so that you can win in peace, harmony, and balance. With love always.